Another day of Minecraft. And that's a great start. I forgot to put my elytra back on. So today we're going to continue to collect blocks for the item sorter. Got some good ones such as Nautilus shells and Scute. Gotta have to figure out how to get those. Everything else should be fairly easy. And I wonder if there's a way to collect Scute without killing thousands of turtles. I also seem to have misplaced all my tools. Not sure where they went. Got some filler tools. Not the best enchantments, but uh, let's go to the beach. All right, we got two turtles behind me and over there is a river. So I think we're going to try and knock out two stones with one stone. Um, so it turns out baby turtles drop scute when they grow up into adult turtles, which means we're going to have 128 baby turtles. That's a little bit more than I was kind of hoping, but oh well, at least we won't have to kill them this time. And now we can get started on the drowned farm. The plan for the drowned farm is to build a big floating box above this river and shape it to the river biome so only drowned spawn. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be standing. This is the AFK platform. We just go up from here and then the drowns will fall down and die. And then above that will be our big giant tank. So I have the mini HUD mod, which I'm using as a filtered F3 screen right now. And as you can see, we're in the river biome, but now we're in the plains biome. So I'm going to go back and uh, why don't I try building out here? And I'm just going to repeat this until I have an outline of the river. And there it is. The outline is done. It is very wonky um, and it's really curvy because it's basically where the river biome stops and the plains biome begins down there. Okay then, I just hit the ground too hard. I think my axe fell in the lava. That is not good. But with that minor setback out of the way, here is a replay from the replay mod. A nice little time lapse. Starting to go over the walls and I'm gonna try and make the walls uh, by turning lava into cobblestones. So that's why I've been going to that lava lake to try and collect all this lava. Um, and it didn't actually go that smoothly. Um, a lot of the lava didn't pour exactly where I wanted it to so I ended up having to make the second outline. But eventually I'm going to pour water on this uh, to turn it into cobblestone and then we should have all the walls built. Real quick, the turtles have laid some eggs so I'm going to steal them now. Thank you, thank you. I was not able to get any other turtle eggs because I think some mobs came in and stepped on them. Uh, but that's okay, we got two, that's all we need. So I'm going to make a little enclosure here and let those guys grow up. So now I'm just going to place down the turtle eggs. Dig out some room to add some hoppers underneath. And now back to this thing. So this was the most satisfying part of the build by far. There were a few places where the lava didn't flow where I wanted to, and it takes forever for the lava to go away. So I just kind of poured over it and then dug it up later. Right after all the walls went in, I had to place signs all along the bottom here so that the water wouldn't flow out. And this was a pain. I also realized I should have built the kill chamber and catching platforms before I built the farm. Cause as you'll see later, the drowns start spawning and they do not stop spawning. That's it, that's it, it's all done. I had exactly the right amount of signs, which was very satisfying. So now all I gotta do is put the water in. What the heck? Uh, luckily I didn't lose any of my stuff this time. Eggs still haven't hatched but they're cracking. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I just finished filling in all the water and drowns are already spawning. Whoa. That was close. So now we need to catch all these drowns and push them into the kill chamber. I'm starting to regret not building the killing chamber first because drowns keep falling on my head and it is not pleasant. This reminds me of like old school mob grinders. You just make a big dark area and then all the mobs will just walk into the water and fall off. I don't think I'm gonna be making it to my bed anytime soon. Yeah, not building the killing chamber first was definitely a mistake. These- oh god. Just stop throwing tridents at me for two seconds! Oh no! Oh no! I'm being spawn camped. This was a mistake. Hello everyone. Can I have my stuff back please? There are my pants. And we're back. Good as new. Nothing ever happened. Why did I do this? And that is it for now. Killing chamber is- oh my god, that's a lot of mobs. Whee! Yeah, these mobs don't stand a chance. A baby with a trident. What the- Now to get some hoppers under these guys. 
All right, I think it's done. I managed not to lose anything, which is pretty great. I ran out of blocks, so I guess there's not going to be a roof for now. But enough of that, let's see how this thing works. Hoping that this could produce us nautiloid shells. And we got one. Excellent. So jumping in a free cam, we can see that the drowns spawn in the tank and they float down until they're caught and fall. And then I kill them at the bottom. It's pretty slow, but it works. So now I'm going to sit at this thing overnight and see what happens. Well, I AFK'd for quite a while and I actually left and got some ice cream. And when I came back, I was dead because apparently... Yeah, I starved to death. In other news, we have a turtle. Where is the second one? Oh, there he is. And I think if that guy grows up, he should drop a scoot. Nothing. But at least my stuff survived. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, the farm actually works. This is great. 36 Nautilus shells. That's not too bad. And also some copper. I don't believe it. I actually found my stuff over at the raid farm in this random barrel. We are back! Alright, the other reason I need Nautilus shells are for conduits, and conduits are one of the few items I'm actually not going to collect two stacks of. There are a couple special cases for things like netherite and, you know, like netherite blocks, where it just doesn't make sense to collect two stacks of them. So we're just going to have normal item filters for those, so I'll only have to collect one of them. And a quick tip for finding buried treasures, once you get to the approximate location, open up your F3 screen, and look at the sub chunk coordinates. That is this number here. Buried treasure always spawns in the 9 9 coordinates. That's 9 in the x direction and 9 in the y direction from the start of the chunk. Looks like I already found this one though, so no heart of the sea for me. All right, the turtles have begun to hatch. We're getting quite a few of them. Look at all those turtle eggs. This process takes even longer than the rabbit farm because Turtle eggs take four to five days to hatch on average, and they have a much higher chance of hatching at night, which means I'm just gonna have to AFK for a long time and wait for these eggs to hatch. All right, well, uh, they definitely hatched. We have a bunch of turtles. In fact, there might actually be too many turtles. I, I, I know I said this wouldn't turn into the rabbit farm, but something definitely has to be done because this is way too many turtles. All right, I think I've come up with a oh, how'd that get there? Anyway, I think I've come up with a solution. Just ignore that mass grave behind me. So if we come into the turtle pen, you can see there are quite a few less turtles. And where did they go, you might ask? Did I kill them? No, no, definitely not. These turtles have been peacefully relocated, albeit with a bit of force, through this nether portal. And if we flick this lever, we can see that on the other side is a nice, beautiful turtle paradise. Beaches as far as the eye can see, a nice warm ocean to swim in. The turtles can relax under the shade of this tree. They can get stabbed by these stalactites and just have a jolly good old time. There's even a secret area of the beach, which is even better than the normal beach, because when I initially built it, the nether portal ended over here, and none of the turtles wanted to go through. So then I had to rebuild the entire thing over there, where the portals actually linked up. These turtles are going to have the best time. There was a tree here, but it burned down. Now let's go back to harvesting, or um, collecting skewt in a consensual fashion. Another hour has passed, and I think we finally have enough scute. Get in the portal, turtles. You're done. Don't need you anymore. There it is. 64 and 41 is just the number we need to fill up the item filter. I did not think that was going to take so long. I hope you turtles have a nice time in hell. Just to round off the chest that we're working on, I collected two stacks of pufferfish. That was not fun. But now that we have the pufferfish, we have all the items we need to fill up this chest. It's finally time to return home. All right, we're back. And I realized that this whole episode, we worked on uh, three items. The items in this chest that we're not doing are leather because I did it in the last video and forgot about it. And firework stars because that's a placeholder and we're not actually going to sort all hundreds of firework stars. Sorry to disappoint you. Anyway, let's put the items in. Got the placeholder firework charge. Then our Nautilus shells, Scoot, I hate turtle, Huffa fish, and leather. And that's it. That's another chest done. Next time, we're gonna work on some ink farms for both types of ink. Probably make a little chicken farm and improve the slime farm greatly. And before I go, I have one more thing to show you guys. 
my friend Danny hopped on the server and wanted to create a sugarcane farm. So I'm gonna leave you with this little time lapse and some random clips I took along the way. I only thought to record about halfway through, so they're kind of random. But uh, goodbye. Okay. I saw your I saw your video in like one section of it. Th literally the third section. I'm literally on the third section out of <laughs> there's seven day sections. Do you have any food on you? <laughs> I have some watermelon. Give me your watermelon. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> please. Oh wait, yeah, I have tons of killed rabbits. <laughs> Over here. What? <laughs> <laughs> I better have a heart. <laughs> There's a lot of them are missing. Past. Oh wait, there's so many missing. Cool. And then if you climb up here, it's filling up. It's filling up. It's working. Check this shelter box. It's going in there. So it should all just come once once that fills up. It should break and go to that chest. You make it so it just runs once. Yeah. Yeah. Property value of my villa is going down because of you. <laughs>